This is the Sentinels of Stormreach chain on hard. And for normal, I just walk through the wilderness. I'm gonna just uh, take the horse this time since you've already, or it's already shown in the normal video. Uh, plus this is a good example of a wilderness where you can pretty effectively run through the wilderness without generating a bunch of uh, red alert. Because it's, uh, you know, it's not a huge density of enemies here. Um, there is a chance we can get knocked off our horse. But there's even a better chance we could just make it all the way without getting knocked off. And to start, I'm just going to use just the shield. Uh, the only buffs I'm going to use are the shield and divine might. The kobold dashes off the instant you approach. It looks like the blood tide is expecting your arrival. The front gate slams shut before you can step inside. You'll have to find some way to get it open. And the first thing you probably notice is comparing it to Slavers, which is a level 8 quest. This is a level 7 quest. Just how much easier this is than Slavers. Um, that's definitely the case, and it's not just because of that one level. So in other words, all level 8 quests don't take a big jump in difficulty. Slavers, I believe, is just a little more difficult than other quests at the same level. That's not a bad thing. I mean, um, you, you'll experience that around where there's certain chains that are just harder than other chains. Uh, at level seven, which we're running now, the level sevens, there's uh, Temple Bell and Metal Evil is, you know, much harder and there's like a one shot mechanic in it. So it's on our list of quests to save up for favor runs as opposed to running. Suggest that this part of the bazaar catches too much too. So those champion uh, casters are pretty, probably the toughest enemy in here. I took a lot of damage on hard. That could have 
possibly killed me on elite except the difference is on elite I'd be using I would be using elemental resist uh, whereas I'm not bothering with that on hard so it probably wouldn't have been enough to kill me on elite so I'll try to just disable this trap before we aggro there's a couple guys on the left so before we aggro them we'll try to just get this trap real quick All right, I hardly decided to attack some things down there. We're just gonna ignore that stuff and hope it doesn't follow us. If it follows us, we'll just clear it out. And you can see because of our spot, we can kind of see people that are being stealthy, like this guy here. And as a reminder, we always want to, when there's more than one choice in this quest, we always want to do, take the one with the uh, crystal. All right, let me renew my shield, clicky. Casters first. And I think in the remaining quest, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's see where. Oh, I forgot the manager. I think in the remaining quest, I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, cast a resist. Just so I because what I really am interested in is with my existing kind of gear set and setup, what sort of places do I take pretty big damage from? And so far, it's the elemental damage, but I, what I can't tell is how much less I take with the resist. Is it one big number or a series of small numbers? It seems like it's a series of small numbers. Uh, but I'll be able to confirm that by uh, using my resists. Echoes of dripping water reverberate through the caves of the Black Lock. Yeah, I'm not going to bother with the heroism because uh, 
if there's any skill checks I'm in danger of failing, I kind of want to know that when I run hard. So that'll give me two less to my save and skills, and you know, that sh Elite should scale up uh, about that, maybe a couple more. So if I'm running, I'll know if I'm running into problems on hard, I'll have to make some adjustments for Reaper mode. These guards look and smell like zombies. <laughs> 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 All right, you gotta go to the side path and yep. Let's see, where do we miss? There must be some uh, zombie or cobalt or something we missed, unless it's just glitched. Hmm. Got a lever I'm missing. Maybe I forgot, oh, speak with uh, Tindineth. I forgot to speak with the quest giver. You ready yourself for the upcoming battle against the necromancers and their undead pirate minions. may prove useful later on. A small keyhole That's a painted shrine down there. You can pretty much ignore. Perhaps you can find I guess I could take him out with an archer. Or the bow. Don't want to make that mistake on Reaper. That's a pretty deadly trap. Uh, we want to jump to about here. Oop, and not our hireling.
is colored a rich red. You can't tell whether the color is paint or rust or something worse. I'm just gonna be in this trap message here. The pirates behind this will continue their journey, oblivious of your presence. You notice a small red keyhole in the door. We don't need to drag them back on uh, hard, but I'm gonna do it on. Dude, anyways. Gold's coins glint brightly at the end of this corridor, but so do the steel weapons held in pirate hands. Just an alarm echoes from down the hallway. More guards are approaching to check on the vault. rebuff and I'm gonna have my hireling give me some spell points one of the reasons I'm taking this level 9 hireling instead of the level 10 is because they basically have the same spell list except this one has divine vitality so he can give me some my, some spell points back so he's kind of like a battery recharger And if you're ever thinking of a uh, quick way to upgrade the to premium, this door is the same bright blue as a you could buy the starter pack on the DDO market, and that gives you um, cat well catacombs, which we really don't need now because it comes with a uh, free coupon, but um, an Ellery hireling that's bound to account, one for server. And uh, you could use that effectively like a... You know, she, you could use her in addition, because she's a bound to account gold seal hireling, you could use her in addition to any hireling you use like this one. So, um, and she has divine vitality, so what a lot of people do is just keep her even at high levels, and then they pull her out every five minutes, 
if they're a caster and they need the spell points and uh, use her for the divine vitality you know 300 spell points every five minutes in the quest that's the um, DDO starter pack it's like around ten dollars and I think that's enough to get you uh, upgraded to premium but you might want to just double check it to make sure it's not a penny short All right, I'm going to use my uh, visor of the flesh render guards. We got the Tanglewood Gorge. We'll probably get a good chance we'll get another one the next time we run it, but I believe this guy could cast. Uh, we have Death Ward, so we don't need to worry about Death Spells, but I believe he can, he can ne uh, negative level us. So we have quick ways to fix that. Um, and so Death Ward's good. In most cases, uh, against Beholders, it's not good because they just dispel it. And there's some casters that do the same thing, but generally it's a pretty good solution against enemies that will negative level you. And it's good for seven minutes. So if we have two of them, we have uh, 14 minutes of protection there if we get another one in our third run of Tangaroo. We didn't get it both runs, we just got it the first run. to the ground this heavy key is made of solid gold it could fit only one door in the black lock I'm just mainly going here to see if there is a chest if there's not a chest it's certainly not worth making the run here for a few piles of gold but if there is a chest it's you know definitely worth it to get a chance for a nice rare drop random loot item Before you, during its raid on the Black Here we go. So we get a chest. I'm not going to bother with these piles of gold. We're getting a lot of chaotic outsider main weapons today. Uh, that might actually be interesting for a um, for a monk because they have ways of bypassing cold iron. I don't know if they also have ways of bypassing good plus cold iron at the same time, but they could definitely bypass cold iron. I'll just grab this. I don't think a blue slot is too interesting. There's seems like it's pretty common now to get an item with a blue slot. A, a double slotted item. I'm definitely going to keep those.
think we're going to run this the same way. We're just going to you do it this by master's way and then go from the top. It's just I think it's just a lot easier to do it that way. Bypass all the fighting in, in the lower sections. All right, so wild men can do magic missiles. So let me get this and divine might and uh, that's going to be it for now. Eh, let me throw a fire on there because they sometimes cast fire spells. Echo through the ravine. This ground is sacred to the island's native wild. <laughs> And I said I was going to use all the buffs, so I guess I should stick them all on. Blood Tide Fortress lies beneath you. You have found a rear entrance to the pirate's citadel.
That's a really good sign. Success on a one for our trapping. So it's good when a when a gear plan comes together. And this chain, of course, is just in general going to be quite a bit easier than slave the slave lord chain, and that's true even you know beyond the fact even if it was just like you know one level if you ratcheted this quest up one level it wouldn't significantly change the difficulty it would still be easier than slavers the slave lords All right, and now we are flagged for the last one. I mean, we we're already flagged, so, but now we could uh, finish the chain off and get our in reward with uh, this next one. Well, here's some interesting um, heavy armor. Uh, healthy, which is constitution plus vitality. Uh, I don't know about how well heavy armor goes with move silently, but I certainly like the, the prefix, the health, the constitution plus the vitality. But I'm just going to sell it to a vendor. I think that move silently uh, isn't so useful on there. All right, I was suspecting that that male might be House Dennis Favor, House Dennis Favor, or House Denis Favor. So let's talk to our patron, and we have 228 hit points, and I believe he'll give us five hit points. So we're up to 233. So that's nice. Uh, if we look under our feats, under Favor feats, it gives us just the five hit points. So. But we also, it also opens up this uh, vendor. So I don't think there's anything more we would want from this vendor. But um, you know, if there's some quests where we want to use our our bow more, well, one, we could, you know, if we need to do it at range, we can get silver arrows. That's nice if something requires silver or some other metal type. But they have these sturdy arrows, which have a 75% uh, chance of returning, which means that, you know, if we have 250 of those in there, it's the equivalent of 1,000. It's a little more expensive, but, um, you know, in fact, probably stick those on the bottom just so we never run out. It's not a bad idea. Uh, let's see what do we have. I don't think our, we need dwarf bane arrows. So let me throw, let me just get 200 of these. And uh, they're kind of at the bottom, so I expect those would be used last. Uh, uh, there's also, I think, another quiver type available, but not one we were really interested in. If you want to hold a lot of arrows, they have now, we bought the wide quiver, which had 10 different types. This is the thin quiver. This has um, three different types only, but a thousand of that type. So if you had a thousand of those sturdy arrows, it'd be the equivalent of 3,000 or 4,000 arrows, which is pretty nice. All right. here and run
run this one on hard. As you enter, you are surprised to hear the clamor of battle and the cries of the wounded. The tower is being attacked. <laughs> On Reaper mode, this can be a tough fight if you get a couple of Reapers and you're getting all these arrows. You just back up if you get them and, and fight the, the archer won't chase you. The sorcerer probably will, but slowly. And so you just, if you get some Reapers in this opening fight, you just back up towards that beginning area so you're not getting hit by the arrows. And that's the way to, to deal with that. The door to the armor sweeps open. A thick layer of dust covers the tunnel floor. Even worse than the choking dust is the stench wafting up from the pipes. covers the floor of this room. The rats down below pay the filth no mind.
the filthy steam tunnels, you find yourself in the grand So um, probably would kill us on hard, but we, really this is kind of our practice run for elite. So I'm going to go here. This is kind of a safe spot. Keep the hireling parked away where I won't die. I often forget that. Okay, and you see last time the box was there. This time it's over here, also kind of a relative safe spot. But the tr that's what makes this quest a little bit hard is the traps are deadly. The boxes are in the middle of the traps, and they're in, not always in the same location every time. Alright, and there's also a blade trap. Whoop, I was a little too close there. Look at this guy. So you just kind of get the pattern and then that's not a safe spot it's right there I think it's gonna either be on one of these two sides here usually nope all right so I think it could also be over here So I've checked all the spots. So I'm going to run back. And I'm going to stick on my uh, heroism potion. This has always been a tough trap to find, but uh, I believe... What I don't know is if it, it's possible there's no trap box. I mean, even if we didn't find it with our spot, I would expect to find it with our search. search. So I'm wondering if it's possible there's no trap box here. I think that might be the case. All right, so that's enough. I mean, you could always just run through this trap, even on Elite or Reaper. But based on you know, find the other one, I feel pretty confident our trapping skills are good enough. So either I'm missing a spot where the trap could be, or uh, or the other other alternative is that one of the possibilities is that there's no trap box. So we'll test up, you know, we'll know up when we get up ahead because there's another trap. And uh, you know, I found the last one with no no heroism, no human versatility boost, so. And disabled them, disabled it on a one. I, I rolled a one and succeeded, so I feel as though the trapping skills are fine.
park the hireling and uh, see if I can't find the trap sneaking. Blood tide pirates stand over the prone bodies of the wounded, looting them down to their last copper coin. All right, getting a spot check there. So I'm finding the boxes. I don't know what the roll is there, but let me check on the disable with no boosts. Success on a six. So I have a feeling that uh, either there's a box like in a location I'm not aware of or it's also possible that there's just no trap box in some is one of the scenarios for these traps. I know I've definitely been in this quest and had, you know, well equipped, experienced rogues not find the trap box, but uh, I don't know, you know, I don't know what the reasons were. But, you know, the other possibility, I mean, especially when soloing, is if we have to go through the trap to disable the trap, we could just, if we don't find it this door leads uh, on the other side, we just tower. basically this must be ignore the, the trap the the and bypass it. Uh, just jump over it. For your blood. The infamous Crimson sure. Moon. hear raised voices screaming about the loss of the airship. One voice overshadows them all. Captain Chu is making ready for his last bloody step. As the crimson moon falls from the sky, burning, there is a scream of fury behind you. Captain Chu has arrived. Yeah, it looks like two chests on hard. All right, there's the Blade Marks docent. That's the one I took and actually sold to a vendor before. We got it as a drop this time. And here's the heavy chain version of that. It's actually medium armor. Um, they call it heavy chain, but it's actually medium armor. So any medium or heavy armor build, that's a pretty nice armor. Physical sheltering nine, life shield and invulnerability at level five. Let's just see what we got for our, our uh, end reward for the quest and a chain. Um, I don't think off the top of my head there's any named items from this chain that we would like. Uh, if I was going to run a medium armor build, medium heavy armor build or docent build, I would definitely take one of those two or whichever, one's, whichever one applied. Nothing. 
Nothing too interesting there. Just grab a ring. And we get our list and it's very similar. I don't know if it's the same list every time. I don't think it is because last time we didn't have the heavy chain on there. Uh, but pretty similar. No, no rune arm this time and we had the chain this time but pretty similar to the last list. I'm going to just grab the uh, Midnight Greetings. And that's, that's the Sentinels of Stormreach chain on hard.